Hey everybody, this is Jason Creel, and I want to thank you for checking out the different options we have here as far as training for those of you looking to get into the weed control and fertilization business. Some of you know my story, and I was mowing grass, and I don't have anything against mowing grass. I think it's a great business, but I wanted to, to get into weed control and fertilization, and I needed help knowing how to do that. There's just a lot of questions. Obviously, if you've got experience coming from a mowing background, that will help you, especially on the business side, but there's still just a lot of things to learn. So what I decided to do was to put together these this video course program and there's some other coaching options uh, you'll see below um, and just look and figure out what option suits you best. And honestly, if you need some sort of custom option, we can probably do that too. But so basically the options are this. You can uh, schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching calls. You can come ride along with me for the day. Sometimes that's helpful that you can actually see the equipment. You can ask me anything you want. We can talk about pricing, programs, whatever you want to talk about. Or if you want to go through the video course, it's something that I spent over a year working on. Now, of course, I wasn't working on it every day for over a year, but I put a lot of time and energy into this course, and that's the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. And of course, I'm going to include some of the other stuff that I've done, the, the documents, the letters to give you your programs, your pricing, and uh, things like that. And then also included is the marketing course I have done, the Lawn Business Management Academy course, also the Lawn Care Life conference videos from two of the conferences we've done. So, so there's tons of information and try to really uh, put it all together to what you would need to know as far as getting going in weed control and fertilization and being able to help you. And there's another option if you want to do both. You want the course and then you also want some one-on-one -on -one attention in the calls or set up a time to come right along, there's an option for that as well. As far as the course goes, once you pay for the course, you'll be able to create a username and password. If you uh, don't get that information, then you can just simply reply to the email address and I can get you set up for that and get in contact with me some way and get you set up manually in that. But you should receive an email which allows you to create username and password the letters, the documents, all those things are included in the course. And once you create that, you'll have access to all the videos. There's over 100 videos. I don't know how many there are, but collectively with all the courses, conference, everything, there's well over 100 videos in this course that are not found on YouTube or other platforms. I'm excited. I think it, getting in weed control and fertilization was a great step for me. Honestly, the profits were so much better and it's really been a good move for my business, but you gotta have somebody to teach you what to do, how to get started. And honestly, you need to look at this as if it's something you wanna do, and of course I'm not a high pressure salesperson, but if you look at it as an investment and in how can I start increasing my revenue. Because if this helps you make more money, then it's worth doing. If it doesn't help you make more money, then of course it's not worth doing. And that's the way I look at it. I tell people sometimes I one time paid $2,500 to go to a two day event and I don't actually regret it, even though I don't spend money like that a lot of times. But what I gained from that investment has ultimately made me a lot more money than the 2,500 I spent. So anyway, hopefully there are some options below that will interest you. And I'll say this, if you've already bought some of the programs that I've offered, let's say you've already signed up for the a $99 Academy, or if you already bought a $29 or $47, what you know, some other product that's included in this course, then uh, once you sign up for it, if you'll let me know that, uh, I'll be able to go back and see where you'd paid for a previous course, and I'll actually refund that portion of your money. So let's say you signed up for a $397 course, but you had already bought a $99 course, which is included in this, then I'll refund the $99 if that's something you've bought in the past and already have access to. Payment is through PayPal, but if you don't have a PayPal account, you can just log in there and pay with a credit or a debit card, and that works as well. Appreciate you considering these options. Hope there's something that can help you get going in your business. And instead of it being a mystery, what's included in the actual Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the videos that are in the, the Master Academy and the letters and the conference videos and things like that. Those have a lot of videos too, but let me just go specifically through the ones that are in the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy so you'll know some of the topics we're covering. We're gonna talk about why get into the weed control and fertilization business to start with. What are some of the pros and cons compared to mowing business and what's some of the, the real advantages of why I made the decision to get into that side of the business. We're gonna talk about a big picture of what we're actually doing and trying to accomplish in the weed control and fertilization 
business. This is important when you're talking to customers. You need to understand what you're doing so that you can communicate to someone who is asking you questions. We're gonna go over Bermuda and Zoysia plan, like what I'm actually spraying on the lawns. And we're gonna go over Centipede and St. Augustine plans. Now just full disclosure, I don't have uh, much experience with cool season grasses other than trying to get my cool season grasses out of my warm season grasses and we're going to talk about that as well. We're going to talk about spot treating weeds and some of the combinations of products that I use when I'm spot treating tough weeds. I'm going to show you my tank setup and my pump setup and talk to you about some of the options of how you can get a, a spray tank and what you need to consider when you're making that purchase. We're going to talk about push spreaders. We're going to talk about ride-on equipment like ride-on spreader sprayers. I'm going to show you how to spread fertilizer. It sounds easy, but there is actually a strategy to it to get a nice, even application. We're going to talk about sprayer calibration. How do you know how much liquid is coming out so that you know how to mix your chemicals so that you're getting the right rate to not waste money, but to effectively control the weeds. I'm gonna show you how to spray. Show you, it sounds, again, it sounds easy, but to get out there and actually show you videotaped what it looks like, the technique used to spray a lawn. We're gonna talk about handheld equipment, backpack equipment. I'm gonna show you how to do the math. When you figure out, you calibrate your sprayer and you know that you're spraying a certain amount of water, how do you calculate the actual math to know how much of a certain chemical to put in your tank based on your calibration? We're gonna talk about pricing, give you an actual pricing schedule that can get you started. Now you may have to adjust it for your area, um, but that will be better than you trying to come up with it on your own. We're gonna talk about fungus, we're gonna talk about pests. We're gonna talk about software and record keeping, talk about communicating with your customers and how important that is and how to go about it. We're covering some of the extra services that you can offer to increase your money. I'm going to also cover marketing, some of the strategies I'm using for marketing. Of course, there's a marketing course that goes in more detail about that. I made a video talking about staying profitable because what I've learned is sometimes in this business, your expenses can add up and you, you start losing some profits. So I want to give you my perspective on how to stay profitable. I'm going to talk to you about how customers can pay and some of the options that you can offer them. We'll discuss thoughts on how much water should you use? Should you be spraying three, four gallons per thousand square feet or maybe all the way down to a quart per thousand square feet? The pros and cons of that. I discuss ride on equipment versus a tank sprayer. Which route should you go? Or maybe you should get both, but if you're just gonna get one, which should you start with and why? Then I go over in separate videos some of these tough weeds that you're gonna have to deal with like nut sedge and kalinga crabgrass, douse grass, broom sedge. We talk about weed control in the flower beds. What are your options for providing control in those areas? I show you some of the products I use to get your grassy weeds out of your warm season turf. Sometimes the grassy weeds are tougher than just broadleaf weeds. I have a section where you have all your resources available where you can find them and just download and keep them. So all the letters and the documents, the pricing guide, the the course programs, the things that I use to keep track of what I've sprayed and when I sprayed, those are available in one section for you to download and keep on your computer and edit and change them, use them how you want. I give my thoughts and pros and cons of staying solo or maybe growing to multiple trucks. I have a video covering some of the challenges you're gonna face in this business to, to reaching success. I go over yard signs, where to get those, and what you should consider when developing your yard signs. I talk about referrals and websites as far as ways that you can market your business. I cover spray boots. That was something I always wondered, you know, which kind of boots are people wearing? I go over some of your options for that. I talk about dealing with the weather and how that affects you in this business. I talk about suppliers and where you need to look to buy your products, how you store your fertilizer and your chemicals and what you're required to do in that situation or what's some of your best practices. I give my thoughts on whether you should focus just on weed control and fertilization or maybe you should offer mowing and, and weed control and do both, especially if you're already doing mowing. I talk about the spray nozzles, again, going back to the volume and which nozzle you should use based on how much volume you're spraying. And then I give a final video, just giving my final thoughts and hopefully sending you off with some encouragement and uh, to help you get going on this long but exciting and profitable journey. Thanks for considering the course. I hope there's an option below that'll fit your needs and help you get going in this great industry. Thanks a lot.